Welcome at this lesson about making impact and conditions for a successful solution. When your mission is to make a difference in this world, making a difference is usually related to making impact. Impact can be made on one or more of four levels. Economic impact, business. Personal impact, consumers. Social impact, civil society. And environmental impact, nature. Impact can be positive or negative. When impact relates to a problem, like the corona crisis, the impact on the economy is negative. When impact relates to your actions to solve a problem, the impact should be positive. To make a positive impact, the total benefits of the impact you make should be less than the cost of your solution. Impact can be defined by the degree in which you have affected people's lives, multiplied by the number of people whose lives you have affected. In this matrix we focus on social impact, but the same principle applies to other levels of impact too. Usually, when you try to make impact, you either focus on high individual impact with the result that you can only reach a limited number of people, or you focus on reaching a high number of people with the result that you can only achieve a limited amount of personal impact. The holy grail of impact is of course to reach a lot of people and to have a lot of individual impact. But in practice you start by asking yourself, do I want to do a lot for a small number of people or do I want to do a little for a high number of people? You can also do a little for a small number of people but we can't really call that making a difference in this world. During your research into the problem, you may discover all kinds of conditions that need to be met to make a solution successful. Of course, a solution needs to solve the problem and not cause too many additional problems. But be specific. Write down in detail what conditions need to be met for a solution to be successful. We call these criteria design criteria. You use these criteria to measure which of your solutions has the best fit to the problem. When you write down these criteria, you start with the solution should be dot 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 dot. On the dots, you can fill in your specific criteria or more general criteria like affordable, technically available, desirable, easy to use, etc. Categorize these criteria in must have, nice to have, and must not have. These conditions will be the input for the next workshop. So, thank you for listening and see you next week.